Now, what I'm going to do today is going to be a smaller blade for utility work. So first thing you're going to want to do is protect yourself. Put some leather on your leg. Take a bobber. Could be antler or copper. And hit right here, see if I can get a fairly large flake off. So I'm gonna do this quick. Quick as I uh, quick as I can without breaking it. Switch to a smaller bobber. And like I said, we're gonna make this one fairly small, so I'm gonna take off about this much. Keep the blade small. If you're new to napping, don't try to go this fast. Take your time and know your angles, set them up right, take the flakes off. make that smaller. Smaller meaning thinner and shorter. switch to a smaller one. Smaller. As I go along, I'm just making it smaller and smaller. We want it small enough to fit in that handle. So it's a tiny handle. I'm gonna want it small enough and comfortable enough to use for utility work, whether that be a small game, fish, or even just opening packages.
We don't want it too long either because with a smaller handle, if it's too long and you're applying pressure, it might break right here. working the edge. going faster. So this is more of the size I was thinking. Straighten up the edges a little bit. Okay. So I think I'm going to stop with the percussion here. What I'm going to do is grind all the edges all the way around. Give myself areas to pressure flake on here. Now we're gonna see how well that fits in. Pretty good, but it has to go a little bit thinner in the base. Copper on that end, caribou antler on that end. So what I'm doing is pressure flaking on the opposite side. I'm creating these little serrations right at my fingertip there. You can do that all the way down your cutting edge. indirect just for one spot here okay Back to pressure flaking. Now, something like this, you don't want 
too thin with obsidian. Because if you try to use obsidian when it's too thin, it'll snap. It's basically glass. You can get splinters working obsidian. And one thing you could do with this is you could make a neck knife, which I tend to not do with obsidian because it's so sharp. But when you haft it in like that, you could drill a little hole through here, put it on a necklace, and wear it around your neck. But you're going to want a sheet for this to cover it to make sure you don't get cut. I'm just going a little slow here for the camera, but all I'm doing is sharpening up the edges, making it really, really sharp. So the next thing I'm going to do on this is put a uh, notches probably right in here and I'm gonna do it at an angle because I find that the corner notches are stronger than the notches that go straight in I'm just gonna do that real quick I don't want these to go too deep either because like I said if you're working with obsidian it'll break at weak spots so it'll break right there so you don't want to make it a uh, you don't want to make those too deep just enough to get a secure tie in all right spot here. All right. So just a real quick corner notch from Obsidian. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to add a glue in here. Make sure this fits. Fits pretty good. Tie it. 
and let it dry. Now you could use any kind of glue in here to make that secure. And I like to wrap it with sinew. I'm gonna grind this edge down just a little to keep it flush. But you wrap with sinew, make sure it's wrapped on the bone, on the antler, on the wood, whatever. And make sure it's really glued in there. And I'll show you what this can do as soon as it's dried up and how well these work. Okay, so it's not completely dry yet. But um, I'm gonna use a bait fish and just clean them a little bit if the uh, glue is dry enough. I'll just do it gentle because it's not dry yet. And I'm not going to show the guts, but you just pull the guts out now. And then you could use him as catfish bait, because I'm not going to eat him. But yeah, that works. You could say clean cut. Clean cut. And that's a little utility knife for you. Cut me too. Look at that. So one of the things I've found is that stone knives cut a little different than your modern knife. It's razor razor sharp, but what you want to do is you want to poke in first with the tip. So you poke in, then you cut. With, the, uh, with this, it's easy enough to just cut like that, but if you're trying to get a clean cut down this way, you could go in this way, and poke in, and then zip, or go in this way and zip. Hope you guys liked this video. We made this little highly portable, highly effective obsidian stone knife. Be back soon with uh, new videos, guys. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you get notified. And I will see you soon. Thanks, guys.